Hey there, it's Sonia Miller, speaker, coach, and author, and I help people receive what they want by unlearning struggle. Today, I'm gonna to answer the question, why is receiving what you want not a selfish focus? In other words, how is receiving what you want one of the most generous things you can do? Well, the reason is, is that when we really learn how to receive what we want, and when I support people in learning how to do that, how to unlearn struggle so that you can receive what you want, I'm actually more interested in the opportunity that you have less about getting the thing you want and more about really learning how to receive because the skill sets involved in receiving are actually the most natural skills in the world, but it's becoming almost this forgotten perspective, this forgotten paradigm, this forgotten way of being powerful. Now this is at the root of all of it. Because it's forgotten, because we don't understand what receiving is about, what it really points to is that we look at receiving as an act of getting, okay? Now, receiving what you want means that we're focusing on fundamentally a want. What's a want? You cannot want something that you think you have or that you know you have. You cannot want something that you have. So underneath wanting is a fundamental belief in lack. And so if you're pursuing receiving from a place of lack, what does that leave you with? It leaves you with this belief that you have to hunt, 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 get, 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 conquer, 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 pursue, pursue, pursue. You're always in consuming mode. Consume, consume, consume. This is along the lines of a survival instinct. You become, as wanters, as a consumerist society, we're just always in getting, getting, getting mode and we're never fulfilled. We're never satisfied. There's always the next thing, okay? Now, part of that comes from the ego mind perspective. The ego mind is always looking for a problem to solve. It always sees itself as separate from the whole. That's by design. It's part of the spiritual journey, okay? So that's part of just being human, okay? And awareness, a heightened awareness, allows you to see yourself as part of the whole and as such to start to see how you already are an expression of this completeness and this wholeness and abundance that's already here, okay? So if it's already here, why aren't we experiencing it? It's not because we have to get something that's missing, it's because we don't know how to receive it, which is an experience, it's a feeling, it's a satisfaction rather than a lacking and a wanting and a hunting and an insatiability. So when we start to wake up from this illusion of lack and receive that which is here, that which has always been here, your wholeness and fulfillment, then we can shift from being a consumer, which is always taking and getting, to being fulfilled and being a contribution to the people in our lives to our communities and to the world at large. This is one of the reasons, if not the reason that I'm so passionate about teaching this. It's about illuminating this illusion. It's about being a contribution. And if in the process of receiving what you want and unlearning struggle, you get the goodies, the whole world benefits too. It's a win-win. So if this speaks to you, if you'd like to learn more about how to unlearn struggle so you can receive what you want and shift from being a consumer to being a contributor, then just click on one of the links below. I've got two ways you can learn more. One is you can take my free masterclass called Receive What You Want, Three Hard Work um, Habits You Must unlearn, unlearn to Release Struggle and Welcome Your Fulfillment with Ease. And that's Receive class.com. If you want to go further and join me in an 11 week powerful journey in the new year, go to receivecourse.com and learn the 10 powerful ways of being that allows you to unlearn struggle, receive what you want, and have that ripple effect be your contribution to the world. 
If you like this video, please like and share. It helps me reach the people I'm here to serve. And I would love to help you unlearn struggle and receive what you want as a way to welcome in the new year and the new decade. Have a great day. Bye.